Amen. How are you all today? Good. good. Thanks to God and yourself. I'm good. Thanks to God. Today, on the Ethiopian calendar, it is the 28th day of Hidah. So this means yesterday was the 27th day. So who can remind me what we remember on the 27th day of every month? Who knows this? 27th day. Danny. Close. Close. Okay. Oh, last one. Very good. Madanada. Very good. And so who can tell me? We said Madanada. What does Madanada mean in English? What does it mean? Yeah. The Savior of the world. Very good. And lastly, when we are talking about the Savior of the world, who are we talking about? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. Very good. So the reason why He is called the Savior of the world is because He saved us by, by dying on the cross in order to forgive us of all of our sins. And in doing so, He opened the gates of heaven and freed all the worthy people from hell, allowing the future generations into heaven as well. Also, through Him, we learn the proper way to praise God and reach the kingdom of uh, heaven for ourselves. So we remember the sacrifice He made on this day. During this time, we also observe a holy fast. Can anyone remind me what this fast is called? Who knows? Yeah. Very good. Nebiyat Tzom. Okay, and so when does um, Nebiyat Tzom stop? What is it going to? Who knows? Yeah. January 7th or what? What's January 7th? What's January 7th? Okay. Very good. The Ethiopian Christmas or Denna. Okay. And my last question. Why is it called Nebiyat Tzom? Or Tzom and Nebiyat? We went over this last week. Yeah. Very good. All the prophets who prophesied, who told the people of their cities, of their, of their world, about the coming of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, they also fasted. And they fasted um, because they knew that the Savior of the world would come. And that was Jesus Christ. And He was born on Christmas. And so that is why we had Soma Nabiyat until Christmas. Today, during the Divine Liturgy, we read from the Holy Gospel. Can anyone remind me what this Gospel was? Which Gospel is it? Yeah. John. Very good. We read from John. You want to check? Very good. John chapter 9, verses 1 through the end. And within these verses, we learn about a story where our Lord, God, and Savior Jesus Christ heals a blind man. One day, our Lord and His disciples stop and see a blind man who needs help. Because our Lord is merciful and accepting, He decided to help this poor man and perform a miracle. He spat on the dirt on, on the ground below Him and put the clay or the mud on the blind man's eyes. And after this, He instructed the blind man to wash his eyes out, wash the mud off his eyes. And then when He did this, He could see. So the, the blind man traveled the world and told the people about what our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ had done. Just like the blind man, we must also follow the instructions of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. And we must be willing to allow God to bless us. The blind man could have easily told uh, our Lord God and Savior to leave him alone. But because he had faith, he allowed God to grant him his sight. In this, in this same way, we must also allow God to bless us by asking questions about, and by learning about the Word of God. The church is accessible for all of us and will accept us if we follow its rules. The question is if we are willing to accept the church in the Christian way of living. So may God bless our holy fast and may He grant all of our prayers. Thank you.